Hi there, welcome to this edition of the London Beat presented by T-Mobile. I'm Laura Oakman. Art comes in many forms. Our Crispin Kenny stumbled upon some hidden gems in this vibrant city and filed this report with her Samsung Galaxy S3 running on T-Mobile's 4G network. Thanks, Laura. Right here in East London is the mecca for street art, where artists from around the world come to color these historic streets of Shoreditch. So I decided to take a tour. Hey there, Hi. I'm Kristen. You're going to take me on the tour today. Yeah, so we're going to get going right now. Um, these two pieces here are by a guy called Ben Ein. So when David Cameron was elected Prime Minister, he went over to the USA to meet Barack Obama. And one of the gifts that he brought across is a canvas by this guy. And one I like, Usain Bolt right behind us. Yeah, yeah, so this is um, Usain Bolt as portrayed by Jimmy C, an Australian graffiti artist living in London. He actually did this piece without permission as well. He just rocked up and did it. Is there a difference? between legal and illegal art here. There is a difference, but the lines are very blurred now. So because street art's so accepted around this area, it's really easy now to do illegal pieces too, because you can just pretend that you're doing it legally and turn up in the daytime with a photographer and look very official and you can get away with it. Tell me a little bit more about this piece of art. So this is a giant hedgehog. Um, and Roe is known for doing big black and white animals. They're the focus of his work, just animals. So often when he's in a city, he'll pick an animal that's local to the area. So hedgehogs are very common sights around London, and that's why he picked a hedgehog. And here we are with a different piece. Who did this? This is by a lady called Swoon, originally from Florida, but now based in New York. She's got lots of stuff all around New York. A different material, I see. Totally different. This is a paste line, so it's made using woodcut and it's on rice paper. So this is interesting because this is quite a contrast from this piece. Yeah, so two really different styles. So Pez is known for doing the happy style. This is this is called the Barcelona happy style. It's really bright, really clean, really flat colours. Yeah, really different to David Walker. And that's one of the cool things about street art in London. You've got very different styles. It's a well-known wall that's changed different times. This is my favourite wall. <laughs> All right, Laura, now I'm ready to leave my mark. Thank you, Kristen. That's going to do it for this edition of the London Beat presented by T-Mobile. I'm Laura Oakman. We'll see you next time.